Good day and welcome to Shop Boss Pro Changing System Settings. This video will give you an introduction to the system settings and show you how to change the settings to better suit your needs. To begin, log into Shop Boss Pro. Click on the Settings button at the top right. The first screen you will be presented with is the company screen. Here you will see information like your shop name, address, phone numbers, hourly rate, sales tax rate, and warranty information. Change any information you like, then click Save Settings at the bottom. Now, click on the Custom button at the top. The Custom screen has custom information about your shop and the usage of Shop Boss Pro. If you select Yes to require payments to close an RO, this setting will require all users to enter the form of payment received on a repair order. If you select Balance RO Against Payments, then the amounts of payments must match the total repair order. You can also add special RO fields. These are amounts you might charge that are different than other states or localities. Special customer fields allow you to save information about your customer, such as a gold card membership to your shop, or whether you want to follow them up in the future. The disclosure section is very important, as this is what prints on your repair orders, defining the terms of work that you do. Most of the rest of the sections are simple add, edit, and delete for things such as employees, suppliers, parts codes, and such. Let's take a look at suppliers for an example. Here you will have a list of suppliers that you can click on to edit, make active or inactive, and delete. First, we'll make CarQuest inactive by clicking on the word yes in the active column. Notice that it becomes no. By clicking on the word CarQuest, this will allow you to edit the information about them and save it. Now, let's look at the accounts receivable. This is a unique function for ShopBoss Pro and allows you to track all accounts paid on your repair orders. When you click on the accounts receivable button, you will get a list of all closed repair orders that were not paid in full. You will see the date, RO number, customer, total RO, and balance on that repair order. You can print this list by clicking Print List, or you can click on Print Statements. This will generate one statement for each customer showing the repair orders and balances. This is an excellent tool for billing out customers that pay you once a month for all work done, such as another shop or a fleet account. To post a payment to an RO, click the Edit icon at the far right of the RO you wish to post payment for. This will show you the basic info as well as any payments made on this repair order the balance owed, and any other repair orders for this same customer. To post a payment, click on Post Payment to this RO. Now enter the amount, payment type, and a reference number if you like. Then click on Post Payment. You will see the payment amount posted and the balance of the repair order reduced by the amount of the payment. When the balance is zero, this RO will be removed from the account receivable list. If you close an RO, it will become unavailable to make changes. It can, however, be reopened. We do this by clicking on Reopen RO, entering the RO number, select the status to change it to, and the date to set if desired. Click on Open RO, and you will be taken to the RO to make changes as desired. Canned Jobs Many of the routine jobs performed in a shop can be pre-built including several labor and parts items all grouped together as one. We call this a canned job. We have included four different jobs for you to use. You can edit, delete, and create as many canned jobs as you like. To begin, click on Add New Canned Job on the left. Enter the job name, then click on Add Job. Next, click on Add New Labor Item to add a labor item for this job. Enter a description and the number of labor hours then click on Save Changes. Now, let's add a part by clicking on Add New Part. Enter the information including the part number, description, cost, price, and quantity. Now click on Save. You now have a canned job that you can add to any other repair order. Two other buttons that are different from the rest, the My Account button and the Parts Matrix button. The My Account button is used to convert your trial account to a permanent one by agreeing to the terms and conditions 
entering your date of birth and last four of your social security number for identity verification, then your bank account number and routing number. This allows us to bill your account automatically on the first of the month. As for the parts matrix button, this is covered in depth in another video. Thank you for watching this video, Shop Boss Pro, Changing Settings. For more information, view our other videos or give us a call to schedule a short 10-minute presentation of the program.